Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. I got a couple things to try out new this weekend. Um, this is my weekend shave. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm getting it done a little bit earlier in the day. That way I have plenty of time to have dinner and watch the game, and I'm not even going to say who I want to win. Don't want to lose anybody on that one. All right. So, a um, couple new things I'm working with today. Um, I already have shown the, the shave bowl that I got from Rodak. Um, absolutely wonderful shea bowl. And today I've got whipped, whipped up in it. Uh, very nice soap. I'll show you that in just a second. But I mean, look at this stuff. Absolutely insane. And that's a vegan base. All right. I'm using the Yachi. That would be the 25 millimeter, sorry, 24 millimeter knot with the uh, Timberwolf synthetic knot. So I showed you that, that bowl, but today I've actually got uh, another Rodak product. This would be a brush mug. So pretty big. If I put it next to shave brush, it's a pretty tall brush. Sits right down in there, no problem. I actually went ahead and did load it with um, warm water before I showered. So I got my brush nice and warm and soaked and ready for use. If I put it next to, let's just say the, uh, the Simpsons Trafalgar T2, that's about how tall it is. Um, so if I put it in, it just sits to the top. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, great bowl again, great brush mug. He went ahead and went with the, the bottom ring is not glazed. So you can take this thing and even with a soapy hand, I've actually held the shave bowl upside down and kind of shaken it a little bit. Doesn't drop one bit. Absolutely super crazy grippy. Um, nice glazed marbled pattern and he matched my bowl and got the black on the inside. So I'm excited to try that out today. Um, it was really nice. Um, got my brush ready for me. I do have one badger brush. We'll go ahead and be loading that probably in a future shave. Let it sit in that warm water and get ready for me. Got a uh, actually a new blade for me too, the RK Chromiums. I've used the RK Stainless, but I haven't used the RK Chromiums before. And I'm going to be using the Shave It Shadow, a nice aluminum razor. I'm told it's a little bit on the aggressive side and that's actually how I got it um, from someone that didn't really like the aggressives. So I got that one um, and I do, like I said, I have that loaded with the RK Chromium. Kind of nice, a um, little bit, he definitely heavier than the Henson, but if I compare it to the Henson, um, just handle wise, um, it's a little bit thicker, about the same height, basically, same height, but it does have the curved top on top of it rather than the squared off version on the, the Henson. So I'm excited to see how this one works. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. And since I went ahead with the Shave It razor, I go ahead and have the, uh, the Shave It Blue Shave Soap. This is their vegan base, and if you can see, it is the blood orange. This does crazy, crazy, crazy orange. Um, look at it in very nice pour. I've scooped off of it probably four, five, six times now, and it barely has even put a slight dent in it. It's about four, four ounces on this one, but crazy, crazy strong smell. Um, blood orange really does smell like the blood orange to me. Nice, nice citrus scent. Um, I kind of like to pair it. I paired it a couple times with the, the, um, the lime aftershave. I'm not sure if I'm using an aftershave shave today, but Gable's lime with the menthol in it goes really, really well with that. I don't know if they have a matching splash or aftershave, but I don't have it if they if they do. So I do like that though with it. All right, that being said, I think I've shown everything I'm gonna be using today. Get a little bit of water on the face. I did go ahead and shower before this, so my face is pretty much ready. Like I said, I got that soap whipped up in this bowl. Absolutely crazy. I mean, this stuff is insane how, how smooth and yogurty this one gets. No bubbles at all. Super slick. Like I said, I have used it a couple times already, and I already know that this stuff is so slick, you don't need any kind of pre-shave at all. Sometimes I'll still use the Razor Emporium pre-shave bar. Not so much for a pre-shave, but to prep my face, the charcoal and the activated charcoal, and it kind of helps clean it off a little bit, get all the oils off my face. 
I do, like you probably noticed before, I do prefer to bowl lather, but I kind of, I call it more of a hybrid lather because I'll build the lather in my bowl, but kind of work it, up, work it into my face once I get there. All right, that's nice. And I'll tell you, the scent in the bathroom, that orange stays for, oh geez, three, four hours. Really nice. Um, in Florida, definitely it's a, it's a good one to use down in Florida. That's, that's where I am. All right. Again, like I said, we're using the, the Shave It Shadow. Nice and light. Um, supposed to be a little more aggressive than a lot of the other um, Lumen razors out there, but we'll see. First pass, wow. Yeah, that's definitely more efficient than the Henson. And I've got the Henson AL++, so the Henson Aggressive. Does not compare to this. This is definitely more on the efficient side. Have more blade feel on this one, definitely, than the Henson. But not bad. I mean, I, pref I prefer an aggressive razor anyways. I found out that I like the more aggressives. But even though I feel the blade on this one, it's not overly blade forward. Just enough to know it's there. Um, nice feedback on this one. You listen. Going on about two and a half days. That's about as far as I can kind of go without just being super, super uncomfortable. I like to go ahead and give it the weekend. One, it's a little more obvious when I do my video. How, it, how the first pass and second pass kind of clear things up. And you can see the whiskers there. Some guys out there um, had the real light beard, so you really can't tell when they shave. Right up under the nose, no problem. Um, if you see, you can kind of see the blade tabs there. They're there, but kind of deceptively there. If you squeeze, you can feel them. And really, I think it just helps you align the blade and put the head on top of the, the top cap on top of their base. I don't think there's any risk of cutting yourself with those M tabs. I've never cut my ear or my nose or anything with the M tabs anyways. I did one time um, torque down and tried to un undo a razor and it slipped in my hands and I did get cut my finger that time. But other than that, I really, M tabs don't really bother me. A little bit of witch hazel in between. Get that a little bit damp. And back to my soap. Love this stuff. Blood Orange, um, the Shave It Blue. And it has, this has the, uh, the cow, kale and clay and the oatmeal. And it really does feel nice on the skin afterwards. I've actually, after my shave, I've used the, the remaining soap that's in the bowl and kind of wash my face off with it. I'll kind of rub it in and let it sit. And it does a good job. And you see. A little bit of whiskers underneath. Really don't feel anything on my face. Just a tiny, tiny bit on my left side. But 
But yeah, that, that razor really did a good job. Very efficient. Um, I don't think it's overly aggressive. But it definitely has, has more blade feel than, like I said, the Henson does. But I don't think it's a problem at all. Comfortable for me. I liked it. That being said, of course, I do like the more aggressive razor. But I don't I wouldn't classify that this one as overly aggressive. Probably mid-aggression, not bad though. Very efficient though. Can hear it just tearing everything down. Definitely plenty of residual slickness with this soap. I know it looks like the soap's all gone, but it's still nice and slick there. If that last a little bit of, I try and do a, primarily a two pass shave. Reduce the amount of times the blades against my skin. Reduce irritation. But I kind of do my touch-ups as part of my second pass. So it's almost like it's really two and a half or two passes and a touch-up. It's a very, very quick shave day for me for the weekend. I, said, I really, really like this razor. Um, if you guys have a chance to get one, get your hands on one, go ahead and grab it. Enough weight to say, yeah, it, it's it's a pretty solid razor. Definitely, I'm not sure if it's a different type of aluminum than Henson uses. or if it's just thicker, but it does have more weight to it. Nothing. Maybe a little bit right here. No, well, maybe not. All right. Two passes, two and done. Absolutely incredible. Go ahead and grab the alum and see how that did. Rinse this off real quick. So my face is nice and wet still. Grab that alum. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Super, super smooth. No stinging, no burning. So a combination of that RK Chromium blade, as well as the uh, Shave It Razor, very efficient. A little more on the aggressive side than the Henson, but absolutely a wonderful shave. Really did a good job. 
Thank you, Canada, for sending me down a, a nice razor, some nice stuff that goes along with it. I'm gonna go ahead and let this kind of sit for a little bit, wash it off in about 30 seconds, then I'll take the rest of that soap. Even just that little bit that I shaved off, you can see I've got a ton of lather still in here. Absolutely incredible. And look at the look at the life on that. That's just incredible. Throwing it all over the bathroom. Go ahead and clean that up real quick too. All right, and guys, have, guys, have any questions? Go ahead and put them in the comments. Um, today's shave shave mug mug or brush mug, very nice. Um, kind of goes hand in hand with my shave bowl. Thanks, thanks, um, Eric Rodak for that one. All right. Any questions? Like I said, put them in the comment box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, get ready for the Super Bowl and have a great weekend and great shaves for the rest of the week.